What is a safe city? The term can be misleading, but generally a sanctuary city is a city, county, or state that limits its cooperation with federal immigration and agents, ICE, in an attempt to prioritize local law enforcement resources, ensure immigrants feel safe communicating with the police, follow the Constitution, focus on immigrants who have committed serious crimes. This is why we prefer the term safe cities, because these policies are aimed at making communities safer for everyone who lives there. The research backs this up. One analysis has shown that safe cities see 15% less crime than non-safe cities. Many police chiefs that oversee the nation's largest departments like the safe city legislation. Typically, safe city laws prevent the police from detaining undocumented immigrants who have not committed serious crimes until Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, can pick them up. There are two important legal points to keep in mind. Being undocumented is not a crime. It's a civil violation. Undocumented immigrants have rights under the U.S. Constitution. The police cannot detain anyone who hasn't at least been a suspect of a crime. If the police arrest someone suspected of committing a crime who is then cleared, they must let that person go. This is true whether the person is undocumented or not. Holding an immigrant past the point when they should be released, just so that ICE can pick them up, is unconstitutional. Multiple courts have said so, and immigrants can sue the police for unlawful holding. Safe cities simply make sure due process is followed regardless of someone's immigration status. However, all the above only applies if the undocumented person has not committed any serious crime. If they have, the police can keep them in jail by filing charges, or ICE can present the police with a warrant or order from a judge, which would result in the hold until ICE can come by. To see how safe policies work, let's take an example. Meet Alex. He's undocumented. One day, Alex gets pulled over by the police because his taillight is broken. The police find out he has no driver's license. They take Alex and put him in jail overnight because of the driver's license infraction. Otherwise, Alex has no criminal record whatsoever. While Alex is in jail, the police input his information to a federal database shared with ICE. ICE then puts a detainer request on Alex. Remember, Alex has not committed any other crimes. The fact that he is an undocumented immigrant is not a crime. The police can hold him for what he has done, drive without a license, but holding him past the time when he should be released so that the immigration agents can pick him up is unconstitutional. If Alex was arrested somewhere without a safe city policy, the local jail may honor ICE request and hold him for days or longer until immigration agents pick him up. Even though this is currently what many cities and counties do and what the Trump administration wants them to do, it is illegal because it robs the immigrants like Alex of due process. If Alex is arrested somewhere there is a safe city, the police would recognize that Alex has not committed any serious crimes and release him. That's what they're supposed to do. Safe cities are important. When immigrants become afraid of the police, the whole community is worse off. After the Trump administration began, there was a sharp downturn in the number of sexual assaults and domestic violence incidents reported by Latinos across the country. Regardless of the facts, the Trump administration has tried to use safe city policies as a scapegoat and a tool for fear-mongering against immigrant communities. Even though safe city policies are about ensuring process under the law, as required by the Constitution, members of the administration have threatened to prosecute local officials over these policies. The Trump administration has repeatedly threatened to defund states, counties, and cities that have safe city policies, each time the court has blocked their attempts, siding with safe city policies. In short, safe city or sanctuary cities are not the kind of lawless places Trump and the Republicans paint them as. They are jurisdictions that obey the Constitution, not by helping ICE deport immigrants just because they're undocumented, and provide better results for their communities.